chief guest tonight. My name is Harriet Wagala. The assigned principal of Tarka School of Psychiatric Nursing. I want to thank the Minister for Presidents, Honorable Ravidi Emile Babalanda, who was with us, with us here on Wednesday, the 15th of February, to orient our students on patriotism and for her good package of words of wisdom and encouragement. It is at this point that our chief guest, I request you to allow me to thank and applaud the instructors for the hard work and for training our students to become patriotic. The work they have done, it is great work. I can't believe in these few days, these students have been transformed into patriotics. To another person, it would be very difficult to, to appreciate it, but we are so grateful to the instructors. Love yourselves, but also to love others, because the skills you've acquired here, you are acquiring here, demand that you do love other people, and that is the only way you can care for them. Asante sana! So for this kind of training that we give here, patriotism is particularly important, and we thank you for making it possible. Thank you very much, guest of honor, and everybody, and congratulations, patriots. We thank you so much for that. You are doing it for us as the principals. We can easily have restless nights and days when these youngsters do not go through this training. We are only requesting that, that they have gone through this. The number is about 471. They are going to be the light. Everywhere they go, they will change the minds of the other people they will be with. And their services will be better. My name is Sevrima Gedeo Maira. I'm the principal officer in the charge of education, information and communication at the National Secretariat for Patriotism, Office of the President. Um, we are here at uh, Putabika School of Psychiatric Nursing and the we are inculcating values of patriotism among the students. We were lucky that we, due to the demand-driven uh, patriotism training, we were asked to train all the students. And uh, I think it was, uh, it was long overdue because the uh, students of this college here had never undertaken a training. I think since 2009, but this time we've been involved and we have got um, about 400 and so far we have realized that the young people who are dealing with the special psychiatric people need this kind of uh, information and especially about the love for hard work and love for the values that we are inculcating among the students. Values like uh, love, like unity, like sacrifice, like socioeconomic transformation, prosperity, like democracy, like uh, pan-Africanism and nationalism. All these are very important values that they need to know that in addition to what they do to handle these young people or these people they deal with in a psychiatric uh, treatment, they needed to know the values they gained from that. We had shame about our existence. The reason why you see some of us, the ladies, who are so psychologically tortured, washing our faces with cheek to get rid of science, which is our pigment. They did not do it by accident. They deliberately did it to cause self hate. If you don't love yourself, you don't have a vision. Are we together? Yes, sir. Immediately, somebody starts making you to feel small about yourself, kills your esteem. Then you cease to feel that you are 
important. That is the reason you gave those answers. I'm only Ugandan because I'm my father's son. Okay, if your father was Bill Clinton, would you be happier? Simani, that is homework. They made us believe we are backward. Yet, a lot of inventions happened in Africa. Even creation itself happened at Odubai Gorge. You have not forgotten your S1 history. Have you forgotten? <coughs> the earliest remains were traced there. But here comes a conscious a story showing us a white man with a lot of hair hiding in the garden of Eden, which is not in Tanzania. Again, you start doubting your originality and thinking where they came from is better than where we are. When our Lord Jesus Christ died and he rose, have you heard the story of the Pentecost? When he appeared, the disciples spoke in different tongues. Some were speaking Luma Saba, others were speaking Ateso, others were speaking Akarapojo, but they were understanding each other when the Holy Spirit came upon them. We Google. Europe, they speak English. Am I right? France, they speak French. The Greeks speak Greek. Okay? The Rwandans speak the Rwanda. In Uganda, we speak 65 dialects. So when did Jesus Christ come? Leaders, it is a leadership quality 
that we must always be calculating in whatever we say. We are looking at patriotic leadership and how it can improve service delivery. So how do we communicate? It is very, very important. Now, I want to emphasize service leadership. Service leadership. When you find yourself in a place of leadership, get to know that it's all about service. It's all about service. Soon after here, you are going to get jobs. You are going to become leaders in your respective areas where you are going to work. What should come to your mind is not about money first. Hmm? But what should come to your mind is service. Service leadership. I want you to write it down. What is service leadership? Because that is what I'm emphasizing here. In whatever you do, make sure that service leadership is key. This is a philosophy. Service leadership is a philosophy in which the goal of a leader is to serve. That is a leadership philosophy in which the goal of a leader is to serve. So you put service at the center. Okay? And I want us to write the key attributes of service leadership. <coughs> the key attributes of a service leader. Put them down. So that wherever you go to serve, you make sure that they are key in whatever you do. The key attributes of a service leader are one, humility. You must be humble all the time. Humility, obedience, honesty, love. Care for those that you lead. Care, care. Care for those that you lead. Self control. Self control. Faithfulness. Faithfulness. Selflessness. These are the attributes of service leadership. Big tax is part of your duty. Register and elect elections is part of a duty. Defending this country is a duty. Res respect the national anthem. Symbols, national currency, all those are the duties that everybody needs to have. I hope you get it. Duty is of the citizen. It is the duty of every citizen of Uganda to respect the national anthem. Flag, coat of arms, and currency. Respect the rights and freedom of others to protect children and vulnerable persons against any form of abuse, harassment, or ill treatment. To protect and preserve public property. To defend Uganda and to render national service when necessary. To cooperate with law enforcement agencies in the maintenance of law and order. To pay taxes, to register for electoral and other lawful purposes, to combat corruption and misuse, always state of public property. You cannot claim that you are going to be a, a, a psychiatric nurse so credential when you don't understand your country. Now you are going to work for who? <laughs> this constitution defines your, your course. This constitution defines your profession. Let there be a school. Let there be a teacher. Let there be students to study this. If this constitution did not guarantee that people should come to school, you would not, you would not be anywhere. Therefore, it is important as you study to become conscious about what you are studying. Today you are 20 years, 13, 2018. But tomorrow you are going to be 60, 70, 80. In other words, you are going to grow old and make a contribution in this country. But if you don't have that mindset of national consciousness, apart,
So now I'm going to make an appeal that as a student, you don't need to wait to finish your course before you read the Constitution. Are you together? Yes. yes. Did you know that? Now that is, a, that is unconditional love. Because that Constitution is your Bible. It defines what Uganda wants. How do you become a leader? How do I, how, what do I teach? It is guided by the Constitution and every Ugandan patriotic person must know it. I am delighted to be with you here at the hospital today. I come here not to facilitate in the workshop, but share with you some words of wisdom and encouragement in this retreat on patriotism. I will start by commending the Director of Patriotism in the Office of the President, Brigadier General Patrick Mwesje, for raising very high the banner of patriotism messages everywhere in the country, but particularly among our young people. Asante sana! This is a good representation of the office of the president and of the fountain of honor, President Yoweri Kabuta Museveni, who is the chief proponent of the program. Patriotism is not only to be known from a public organization angle, it is a virtue that exists in all aspects of our lives, namely in our homes, in our schools, in businesses, at workplaces, in boardrooms, in churches, and mosques, and in lecture rooms, etc. Without the, the spirit of patriotism, there will be delays, confusion, cheating, or even collapse in learning each of the above entities. Absence of a spirit of patriotism gives birth to corrupt public officials, tax leaders, fake doctors and nurses, fake pastors, cheating husbands and wives, sale of fake building materials and farm inputs and suicide bombers who already killed hundreds in my instant ETC. Therefore, I am glad that Brigadier General Mestre is spreading this gospel in schools and institutions where the right target groups are located. The young people are quick to learn the good things, but as well super in getting the bad things. We need to target them at this stage of their lives so that they become ambassadors of the patriotism program wherever they will move in life in the pursuit of their education and careers. The love of one's country is a fundamental goal and aspiration of any country on earth. Countries that have pursued this goal have seen tremendous growth of their societies when every citizen works for, <coughs> defends and is proud of that which is branded in the names of their country. I therefore inspire you to take the training in patriotism very seriously. Identify with Uganda love Uganda, defend Uganda, and be inspired by Uganda. You, however, cannot achieve this level of patriotism if you hate your government, you hate your leaders, you hate the CCA, you hate the means of health, you hate the roads, you hate your sisters and brothers, you hate everything. When you hate everything, 
you begin to imagine that life in Uganda is now impossible. And you have to go to Saudi Arabia or Dubai to do anything there. This is the wrong choice for a, a young person who is beginning in life. Life outside there is full of many assumptions and unknowns. You cannot be sure what you will actually do there. Indeed, Mene lives here when promised to be jobs. But they end up cleaning and nursing very old people that are terminally ill. What a waste of a great potential and a loss to Uganda. We need to understand that doctor or historian or geographer, all of us, President, cabinet, MP. If you don't understand those dynamics, those that direct situation, our countries in Africa and Uganda in particular, our country, we will not be able to change. Even when God has endowed us with this. For example, you will see in our presentation that Uganda is among you know, it's heavily down, mostly preferred by foreigners, with everything good in it. But almost 40% of our households in this country are still in the subsistence sector, just growing cassava and potatoes for eating. Hello? And maybe with one boat tied on a rope, and they catch few rights and they don't to hunt some small animals which come around to eat chicken. That situation must change, and it is we, me and you, who are going to change that situation. Are we together? Yes. Are we together? Yes, yes sir. Do you know what a liability is? Yes. yes, sir. What is the opposite of a liability? Yes, sir. An asset. Because you want you to become an asset to yourself and they come to you. So that even tomorrow you can also come and sit in the pieces of this country. Are we together? Yes, yes sir. When you are appointed a permanent secretary, a, 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 a commissioner, a, a minister, you can now sit at the high table. Are we together? Yes, sir. Adaptation and change. Can we say that together? Adaptation and change. My name is Bakashawaranga Ambrose. I'm um, a direct diploma student in my third year. No, many of you call me in the church, and I'm the guest speaker, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. I would really like to thank you for today's topic. Uh, which was resources and implication of geopolitics. We've really learned a lot. And it is for that matter that many people have come up to ask very many questions. I think if there was any way that would appreciate you, then I don't know. In fact, for these people, if you bring guns right now, I would assure you. Um, right. I noted some good things, and one of them was do good to people, and good will be done to you. Can we all repeat that? Oh, yeah. Do good to people, and good will be done to you. And there's one thing that you also quoted about, and it was adaptation. If you must be able to live in this world for the next generation, you must adapt to the environment. Are we together? Yes. We must all do what? They are two things. Adaptation and change. It is adaptation and what? Change. Um, I would also like to really appreciate our administration. This is a wonderful move. And I will assure you, General, even before you live here, uh -huh. the Patriotism Club will be in, in the press. Uh -huh. Body to join me, we are now in patriotism training. Yes, yes. So we are going to take the normal orders that we've been having. 
I'm going to request you to give a very wonderful round of applause to our general. Can we all warm? Can we warm? Yes, can we warm? Asante sana! And back then, we were a Moro country. Then we introduced education for all. And the mind changed. The mind changed. It is just like telling somebody, I love you. Ha, they can fly. <laughs> They can step on some toes because they are in what? Yeah. Education changed our mindset from the moral set to I can do it the way I want. But remember, our country is both. We are a morally upright country with the people who have a set of values. If we go to Bukhaya and we go to Mutemi, don't the girls all kneel? Do they kneel? Yes. Do they bow when they are saying hello to the elders? Yes. Do you still bow? Yes. You just stand. Someone who cannot be morally upright cannot have an upright mindset. So, I still question you. Are the youth useless? I'm with you as I move to you. Education has not been structured that when you become a psychiatric nurse, you remain a psychiatric nurse all through even if you don't see the job. I am a development studies student. But I managed being an analyst without training. What did I do? I understood my responsibilities that one of the core values that I was meant to do was to engage the community and the social worker by profession. I first put politics aside and waited as a social to change. Kamu Kamu Chechi, Rome was not built in one day. You want to change the education system. What is it you want to change in particular? So you people need to be used more. We need to use you. But you must provide yourself for that to happen. That is why your parents say you are useless. They say do this, you say no. Why will you learn? How will you know where the opportunities are if you don't accept the opportunity to you? Some of you have been blessed with parents who have popularity. Not so. How have you used that popularity for your own good? The Bible says that a good father leaves an inheritance for their children. And a good name is one of those inheritances. We have been introduced into patriotism, and I know they told you the importance of patriotism. One is to make us appreciate our country, but also to make us appreciate our responsibilities as Ugandans. When you ask you patriot, what are the five things that you talk about? I love Uganda. I serve Uganda. I sacrifice for Uganda. I am loyal to Uganda. I love myself. Okay. So we, we introduced this. It started by secondary schools and we have gone through that history. But uh, I can't recommend it. It was 2013. When the principles of tertiary institutions were also introduced into this, and thereafter, then we started training our students. As we say, the purpose is to see that we appreciate our country and appreciate ourselves as important people in this country and having a responsibility towards maintaining and the development of the country. For us as lesser professionals, our duty is to see that we treat and we serve our clients that come for the services. For you as psychiatric nurses, you treat mentally sick, 
people. But also you ensure that our mental well-being is maintained as normal people. And you know you do community nursing. Yes? Yes, yes sir. Yes. So as we are doing that, and based on the, the, the skills that we have attained now, you do the job better. You cannot leave a patient unattended too when you have patriotism skills. You try to look for resources to manage that person in need when you have patriotism skills. But you also make yourself to live a better life. Have they taught you some economical skills here? Yes. How to make money? Yes. Sir. How to make your life better? Yes. Sir. So all that is to make you to be a better person. I'm also telling you, some of you are, I don't know whether we have somebody who is 24 years here. Yes, yes? put up your hands if you are 24. <coughs> So you can see the hands of 24 and above, 24 and above. And they are very few. So majority of us are below 24 years. So when you talk about something that happened in the 80s, you don't know. When you talk about something that happened in the 70s, you don't know. When you talk about things that happened in the 60s, we don't know. But this training, help you to appreciate. And we use that history to understand and make our day-to-day -day better and our future better. Not to make a similar mistakes again. Or to learn from the good uh, practice that we did that time to, to, to make them better. Are we together? Yes. So what do I expect out of you after this training? In fact, I was going to tell Madame Narumans to buy a whistle for the principal that starting tomorrow, we'll just stand in the middle of the compound and the whistle, and he sees everybody coming here. And so yeah, you are running. And I said, yes, this is the best way to live in a community. So going forward, With all the challenges, I did not even know that I was coming to discuss challenges of the school. I thought I was coming to, to appreciate the patriots. Then the principal was telling me promotion, whatever, and so on and so forth. So with all these challenges, appreciating them that they are ministers, for us as education, we expect you to be in this institution and work with the management to solve these challenges. We don't expect you to go behind the window and start writing Chirochi to alumna when you have done patriotism. Whatever you are writing in Chirochi to alumna, which is very important to bring it at the attention of the principal, and you discuss it with the principal and you solve that problem. Are we together? Yes. We expect you to be in an environment that is clean. What time somebody enters this school and captured funny, funny places that were not clean. But after this training, we expect you to be in an environment that is clean. So it is your responsibility. Yes, we have the cleaners, but we can support them to make the environment clean. We expect you to be attending your classes and your clinicals. And you get the right skills. Patriotism promotes public sacrifice that is very, very crucial for the good functioning of a state. And therefore, it's important for us to love our country. A country without people that love it, a country with leaders that do not love the country, doom the country. The reason you are here is that you may be able to benefit the country. And that's the spirit of patriotism. If you grow yourselves into people that are going to be relevant to this country, then you are patriot. Today we have people who don't actually love our country. 
And that's the reason that we have corruption everywhere. Corruption has become a disease and perhaps it's because we have not instilled love into our children when they are young. Cultures have changed. I have seen people engaging in two Ebishiaga. But you talk about them. Homosexuality. So do I want to appreciate the trainers. Because believe me, we needed this yesterday. These people must love their country. Corruption is in hospitals. Corruption is everywhere, including parliament. Therefore, we must fight this vice if we are to proceed. I love my country. I love my country. And my mother loves my country. And what she did was number one to make sure that I study so that I can be relevant in my country. That's love. I am a disabled person with one leg. I got an accident. Lost my leg. But I said I must stay focused. No wonder I've been nominated by many countries as a patriotic person. Turkey, a country that is a Muslim country, nominated me as the most patriotic leader in and took me out with my wife and my family. So it's good to be a patriot. A patriot. I was nominated. I was taken to Turkey. America nominated me as the most patriot, as, the, as, as an imagined leader in Africa. And they took me to America. So be patriotic. God will see you through. Now, as young patriots and uh, as young Ugandans, I started with the other song to remind you your duty of upholding the great power of Africa. Your profession is very needed in the future stability of this country. So I call upon you when you are done with your school. When you marched here, I really went on picking and noting some good boys who can and girls who can really go and become the vanguards of our nation. Asante sana! So, I know soon you come out and then you start looking for jobs. We have plenty the forces. Go to Major Pata and ask him to help you enlist and enroll yourselves there. Your profession is highly needed there. Please always think about yourself and do the right things at the right time. It's not bad to look for money, but don't overlook for excessive money. That's why you had the Honorable MP cry out, crying actually. Decry the, the, the level of corruption which has entrenched some of us who are in these positions who must faithfully execute our duties and we serve humanity or we serve Ugandans. As I conclude, I want to remind you now that you've gone through the patriotism formations and training I want to remind you a saying in Luganda which says that the young trees strengthen the forest. Maji, maji. You, you know that saying? Yes, sir. The younger trees strengthen the what? 